Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Vienna, Austria. Look, uh, around two years ago I attended the Obscene Stream Festival for the first time and I've made a, yeah, a slow motion video with impressions of the festival and kind of looked like this. And uh, I decided for the next year to do a little documentary. So I got in touch with Churbi, who is the mastermind behind this festival. And uh, he said, okay, let's do it. So this is now the documentary that I made. Um, first of all, let me say thank you to Simona, who has helped me out with the camera. And I believe that she did an amazing job there. Thank you very much to the whole Slovenian gang, to the Irish, English and Scottish connection. You people know who you are and especially thank you very much to Cherby, the mysterious mastermind behind the Obscene Stream Festival. Um, dude, thank you very much for letting me crash your party. Now, the next Obscene Stream will be happening in, I think in two weeks or one and a half weeks so you still have time to get your tickets and go there and I mean if, if you're kind of on the edge you're, you're thinking oh I could attend or maybe not do it you have to have this experience at least once in a lifetime and there are people who are attending this festival since like 15 years in a row and that has a reason all right so enough for now I will see you soon let's go Thank you. 
Let's let's go. Who's your name? Who are you? Uh, my name is David Linares. Uh, here it will sound something like David or or David in English. That's it. Tell me where you're coming from. I'm, I'm from Colombia, South America. And you took uh, a flight here to Europe just for the festival. Yeah, just for the festival. Uh, I mean, what kind of a conviction is that to go to the festival? What, what is so special about it? I think it's a conviction to have the most extreme kind of fun. And you have to pay for that because you can uh, get it uh, in this way anywhere else. You have a usual job and that means that kinda you really have to kind of also save money to kind of go... Oh, uh, yeah, I have like... Uh, I'm an independent guy, so I can take this kind of decisions. Uh, probably some guys at, uh, in Colombia or South America, Latin America, uh, probably many of them uh, want to, to come, that's for sure, but at the end just a few of us can make it. Uh, because you have to pay a lot of money, of course. I have spent something like $2,000 by this uh, moment and I'm just heading to the festival. Um, and also you have to, to have the time to, to take a few weeks to live your normal life, you know. I'm, I'm a canine trainer. Uh, I'm a self-defense instructor also and a few more things but it, it doesn't really matter i just love grindcar and that's the main reason <laughs> i came here i think uh, we are uh, really a few guys but we are extremely passionate about our music and that's the thing that makes the difference so if you see the uh, i know the obscene extreme since i don't know 2000 well, it's like the second edition or something and I have been thinking about going to the festival since that year. Oh and this God. is my first time. So you can imagine how special it is. You're totally pumped. Eh, I have a lot of costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Awesome. Cool, thank nice. you. Man. Jak jste se možná dozvěděli, tak uh, Desecration z Wales ne, nedorazí, takže se mírně posouhne program. Uh, první kapela bude hrát o pět minut díl a tak dále, ale to, to se brzo rozvíte. Alright, so, welcome to the Obscene Extreme again, after one year. Thank you for coming. We are back at the 99 party, at the very first year when uh, the festival started. And uh, we have some of the bands that were here and we are happy to have them with one of Desecration not coming, but uh, we'll, uh, I think we'll, you'll like it as well. And uh, we'll start with a band from Italy, who was here the very first year. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brainwash! Ladies and gentlemen, the opening act for this year's Obscene Extreme Festival, the 20th anniversary, Brainwash from Italy, from Milan, right? Yes, from Milan. How are you feeling today? Uh, yeah, mixed feelings. I was telling you, uh, walking in after 20 years, uh, you see the same greenery, the place is the same, uh, but everything changed and it grown a lot and we're really happy to be here, that's for sure. Yeah, you're playing at the first edition of this festival. 20 years ago, right? Yes, it was uh, 20 years ago, 1999. Uh, we were 20 years younger. Uh, we started uh, touring two years after that in 1997 in Czech Republic for the first time. And then everything started. We were uh, with the same band we're playing today with Agatocles. So, yeah, 
even with them it's 20 years we keep on playing shows not very often but very important gigs for us for both of us man you gave a very emotional speech there on stage that i unfortunately missed i couldn't really record that could you kind of in some way put it again out uh, i have to say because uh, when uh, i was started speaking about that with uh with Churby, uh he tell me the idea to put together again for the 20th anniversary all the band was played on 99 so for that moment i was like wow really really i was hard to believe it was already 20 years i will be there because it would be too much basically because everybody say when you die you see your life in four seconds he will be four seconds yeah but he will be four days <laughs> to see to see all the people i see during the 20 years we play with bands because all the band here was already play with from the last 20 years we did the grind over here with the uh, amdal exhum and the nictophobic surely was in the crowd and they say man I think I will do a festival <laughs> in the future and you should be there. Oh, this is how it began. He said yes. like, oh, I might be making the most epic festival on the planet, but I'm not too sure yet. Let me think about this. Exactly, that was the way. exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then we keep in contact. We call him's mom from Italy and say, oh, can I speak with Churby? <laughs> no, he's in job. You need to work. <laughs> you know, yeah, and we, we, we fix it. We come here by car. And uh, this is how we, we have to say thank you to, to, to Churby to, to, to kept uh, faith on his job and, uh, and believing in what he was doing. Uh, if you think uh, back in 1990 what he was there and what he is now, yeah. this is huge. And you see the name of the bands as well, this is huge. But still uh, uh, the do-it-yourself spirit is here. You see it and uh, what I extremely like uh, that everything is well organized. You have uh, families here with the stroller, with the babies inside, like a couple of months. This is how it is. So many young kids coming here, children, and this is why the scene is alive. And it is gonna be for another 20 bloody years. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, you're here since like 10 years? Yes. Come on, show me the tattoo. Hey man, what's your name? I'm Pedro. You're from? Holland. Okay, hey, dude, how do you like the festival so far? It's the best ever. I have to be here every year. Uh, this is not your first time you're no, here no, since like... It's the 10th time. Hey, you are maybe the 
20th person that I met who's here like since 10 years in a row. It's, it's, I have to go. It's like the best party ever. It's all lovely people. It's the weirdest place in the world. It's the loudest music. It's everything. It's, it's life in the best way. Here, for some reason, I meet up people that I met like 15 years ago and like everybody who I ever have met like in a metal club all over the world who is cool is here for some reason, yeah. which is absolutely weird. What do you think? Why is that? There's no authority. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the short answer, but really that's what I believe. It's there's no authority. It's everyone's party. And it's 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 you know you know what's gonna happen you never know what's gonna happen and still you know it's gonna be good every time. And people take care of each other and that's how it's supposed to be. And you don't put people in charge who fix things and, and it's it's well organized but it's minimally organized. So it's it's real natural way for people of coming together and that's the most beautiful thing. Humans tend to organize in smaller groups better and uh, um, uh, the kind of music makes it like this small group and it's it's the kind of music that makes you share the same values and uh, um, so it's just gonna work every time again and I haven't been all the time I've been here I never any shit went down you know it's all just lovely people all people having fun being nice to each other taking care of each other in a, in a really great way and it works because of the I think it's human nature but if you look at the, at the, the news it doesn't look like new yeah, yeah, yeah. I live in a fairly big city and it's over organized yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fun fact this guy here recognized me because of uh, my pit video uh, from one year back and thank you very much for the warm words man <laughs> uh, well it's just an awesome video you know it's it's Joe's shows the vibe it shows the people and uh, the contrast with your uh, faces is really really well done <laughs> and the music just finishes off it's it's like a shot in the corner in football, you know? I'm not a football man, but I know Kirby is, so... <laughs> All right. It's like a beautiful goal. Uh, so you know Kirby yourself? No, I don't. I don't know him from seeing walking around, and uh, uh, I think everyone calls him Kirby or Chirby. I don't know even how to pronounce it, but... Uh, uh, but I love his party. I came here, and it's it just like the first time ever, and it, it feels natural to be here. And that's why I keep returning, because it just feels like natural. Wall of death. Okay. okay. He's the man. The Spanish book, boy. <laughs> okay, screaming of the double dirt. What's your name? My name's Kenny. And Kenny, where are you coming from? I'm from Germany. Kenny, tell me one thing. Is this your first time here? No, it's actually my second time. I was here in 2016. Couldn't go last year, but this year I'm really glad to be back here. Everybody here that I'm talking with is in some way been here for five years, ten years. Dudes got have like tattoos of the festival logo back on the legs and the necks, whatever. I really know what you're talking about. I need to get one as well, as well you know, but I, don't, I just don't have the fucking money to afford it right now. <laughs> it's just fucking awesome, you know, it's just meeting all these kind of friends from all over the world, having good time, having good beers, good, good music, and it's actually, I can't tell. It's just come here, feel it, experience it, and it's just you in the know after it, you know? <laughs> it's not, it's nothing you can just, you can just, uh, pushing words, you know, it's something you need to experience. So he was our tent neighbour last year. Did I embarrass you in any way? No, obscene, obscene extreme, no one can ever be embarrassed. <laughs> the funnier the better. Well, yeah, let's leave it by that. <laughs> Listen, this is not your first time here. 
No, it's actually my 10th anniversary. Whee! You've been... 10 years. I'm older than I look. <laughs> In a row? In a row, yep. Yeah. 2009 was my first ever time here, and then now 10 years at the 20th anniversary. Why are you coming back? It is just the best festival. It's like a big family reunion, basically. Every year you make new friends, bump into old ones. You never really get any arguments. It's just the, the nicest, friendliest place on earth, I think. How come that not every other festival is like this? I don't really have an answer because I have been to other festivals but it's it's just never the same um, I always find myself comparing it to Obscene going oh well Obscene would do this better and stuff like that well, the lineup's better at Obscene <laughs> but um, I think maybe the music genre itself just attracts generally open minded and kind people possibly Mate, that's awesome <laughs> yeah. awesome you're playing in a band right yeah, um, I've never played Obscene before, but one day, that's the dream. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> What's the band called? We're called Deep Throat Trauma. <laughs> People can find you on Facebook, I assume. Yeah, Facebook. Uh, we're on all of the band stuff, iTunes and all that sort of thing. Yeah, Deep Throat Trauma. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, what's your name? Oh, my name is Rene. Rene, you are goddamn a big guy. This is not your first time, this festival, right? No. It's not my first time. <laughs> and uh, you were here like five, six, ten times? Well, since 2010, but I missed 2012 and 2013. Why are you coming back all the time? Because it's fucking up to an extreme, you know. It's a different festival than, you know. You see, people are friendly, jumping from stage, drinking, completely different atmosphere. Yeah, this festival is unique. If you compare it with a different festival, all festivals are the same, just staying, watching band. But here, you know, Circle Pit, it's wild. It's <laughs> fucking gonna wild, you know. <laughs> awesome. You're playing in a band? Oh yeah, I'm playing in a Pivo Rapist, you know, from Manchester. <laughs> Pivo Rapist from Manchester. I'm looking to the area. I'm here first time, so... Oh really? Yeah. Jesus Christ, you found somebody who's here for the first time. Like everybody's here for since like 10 years, 5 years oh, in a row or something. This year you have 20 anniversary. Yeah. So I came here to see the atmosphere. Because it's in incredible. <laughs> where, you, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Morava. Uh, there is the Czech Republic, yeah, right? It's in Czech Republic. It's on east of the Czech Republic. From Rožnov. Dude, you, you look phenomenal. What, what did you do? I mean, do you take steroids or something? No, I'm working in gym. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is what uh, some good nutrition, a good workout and a lot of sleep can do to you, definitely. Yeah. Man. <laughs> so, like, are you happy here? Oh, I'm here about only for half an hour. But, oh. yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy it. But there are... Fronty jsou tu hrozně velké letos. A, ah, all right, I know what you mean. Mm. Good. Well, a lot of people came there this year for 20 anniversary, I think. Yeah, did you see the queue in front of the uh, in front of the festival? I mean, yeah. it's like kilometers and kilometers doesn't yeah. stop. It's horrible. I stand there about for 20 minutes and girl come. It was Luke and she said, everybody who have this color ticket can pass. So I. So I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> there were people there waiting since like one oh. hour, one and a half. Yeah. Uh, you were lucky, man. Mm. So I'm you, lucky. <laughs> so you have a costume tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow I will be like Rambo. <laughs> and I will be running in Moshpit for Gutalax with Toy Toy <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be cool. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, man.
So it was like your first night now in the festival. How are you feeling? Great. <laughs> Wasted and fuck it up, but great at the same moment. <laughs> it's exactly what I was hoping for for the fest, and it was a, a insane, crazy um, journey the last day. And it was the first day. It was actually the warm. It was the first day. Man. First day was fucking brutal. <laughs> and that was the warm-up day, you know? That. Yeah, the biggest crowds I've seen on a warm-up day. Oh my god. So who are you going to see anyway today? What are we up to? Um, Google Axe is going to be my, my main one today, I think. Double check it is today. <laughs> yeah, Google Axe, yep, and Exhumed and Suffocation. The last, one of the, well, towards the last, last three bands. How are you feeling today? <laughs> a little hungover, but a uh, couple of beers and it'll be fine. <laughs> How was yesterday? Awesome. Uh, great lineup of bands and just uh, for a kickoff day it was the best. <laughs> hey man, what are you doing? Uh, I'm here uh, right now. I'm cooking coffee, but uh, at the other time I hail Satan and listen to metal music. <laughs> when did you arrive? Uh, yesterday at uh, 10 p.m. It was strange. I was looking for some dudes but didn't find them so I was like fuck that, put up the tent and uh, put up some light and then the people will come and they came. Fucking hell, uh, they were like, yeah you got some light, then I was drunk. Damn it, that went quick. Yeah, <laughs> they escalated quickly. <laughs> Tell me, is this your first time seeing? First time I've seen, I was last weekend, I was at In Flammen in Torgau, but uh, I've seen it's my first time. Yeah, I've seen actually some uh, videos on YouTube and it seems pretty sick and awesome. I was like, uh, I was there when the fireworks started, uh, then, then I arrived. Then you just arrived? Yeah. Uh, oh, then you're gonna have a sick festival, very good. Oh. Yeah, I know, uh, Napalm Death as headliner is pretty awesome. Uh, lobotomy. You're gonna stay here the whole time. Uh, probably if it doesn't get too boring, which I don't think, because uh, over there lives a Mexican. Yeah, he he uh, gave me a gift. It's in my tent. Get it. Uh. I picked the one that's uh, most gay. It's like that. And he was throwing them out like um, like confetti because I don't know they're like two pesos or so. <laughs> Mexico. All right. Thank you. Was the wicked gig, man? Thanks, man. It was fucking cool. I enjoyed it so much. Crowd's crazy. Just like good vibes all around. Yeah, you're here in the uh, Scene Extreme Festival, man. This is like a one of a kind festival in Europe or worldwide. Yeah, man. I've never been to anything like it, really. It's like easily one of the best festivals I've ever been to, and it's it's so packed. It's like uh, it's like heaven for any grind or like heavy fan. It's yeah, it's a good place to be, man. This is the first time actually this festival has been so packed, and I'm, when I say packed, not only packed with bands but also packed with 
tons of people. I mean, mm -hmm. this here is like more crowd than ever before, and yeah, people man. are super nice always. Like I, I see, like uh, yeah, people that attend the festival are diehard fans, and like I feel like they'll continue coming like for years. And I feel like now after being here once, I definitely want to come back every year. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely like it's a community, and I feel like the 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 scene that comes to Obscene brings in a lot of money into the town that is Tratnov as well. So like it's it's a cool thing to have. I really, it is. Dude. Hey man, how are you feeling today? Feeling good. I have a couple of days drinking. I'm awake <laughs> a couple of hours awake. I'm still going. Oh my god, it's yeah. incredible. You're one of the originals here. Yeah, it's my 12th time at the Obscene Extreme Festival. So I love it and row. enjoy it in a row, yeah. In a row, damn it. Do you have a tattoo like some other guys have, like of the festival somewhere on your body? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Listen, why do you keep coming back? Because uh, I like the, the venue, I like the people, and it's crazy shit. Music, it's not that uh, important for me. Oh, there I got a lot, of, a lot of good bands, a lot of crap bands. It depends. Uh, For us, it's like 10 hours to go by a car, but we give a fuck, no. <laughs> and uh, the people are awesome, and the food okay, but the music kind of awesome. So they gave us reason to come back. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Kirby. Kirby is a wonderful motherfucker, man. He's a good organizer and have a good heart and uh, doing a good job. And uh, so I like to uh, support of Scene Extreme. Uh, uh, do you think this might be the best festival on the planet so far? Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, what's better? Uh, festival we organize. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? It's uh, uh, called uh, we had in September in a W Death Fest and a W is a death metal scene in North Westphalia. So we had a smaller one like Obscene Extreme, but uh, it's also it's like. Uh, family style though a lot of people we know they come each year we we have party we taking care of each other doing a huge party for two days so that's my favorite because I'm into the uh, into the team the organizing team of the NRW Death Fest uh, so what can I say <laughs> I love Obscene Extreme <laughs> So where are you coming from, man? I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Southeast Asia. And you're playing with a band here? Yeah, I'm playing with Tools of the Trade. We played today. Yeah, we've been we've been playing here uh, once in 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 2012, and we came back this year again. Yeah, so uh, I believe that this is one of the best yeah festival or perhaps like proper shows that we've been playing all this while. Yeah, they started like very small. I remember watching the videos and yeah, now it's getting bigger and bigger. I hope like it's, 
it will, it will be continue, continue and probably maybe 50 years or whatever. <laughs> How is the contact with Jeremy? Uh, uh, my guitarist has like a good contact with him. In fact, when we were when he was in Malaysia, uh, he's been <coughs> staying at our place and all. Yeah, we've been <coughs> taking him around to see all those tourist 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 places. Yeah, so it's like a grand connection. Uh, well, Malaysia. Happy 20th anniversary, Jeremy. Massive man, how are you doing today? Very well, just arrived. Good atmosphere, good mood. Good fine, yeah. Hey dude, this is the 20th anniversary here. You know, this is super mental. There are so many bands, like there is even now a line and a queue there uh, at the cashier's office. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, and I'm really happy for Cherby, you know, like 20 years of Obscene Extreme. And we're very, very honored, you know, to be invited for this special event because next door here is like Napalm Death, like really old friends of ours, good people. And Sherby made this massive, like, uh, you know, appreciation on the wall, like, of their, of their, of their, uh, you know, of the backstage next door, where it basically says, like, okay, he prefers the first two albums, so we're already like making jokes. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Like, <laughs> play Scum and From Enslavement on on the first really grind festival ever. So you know, it's, 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 yeah, you know, it's just practical jokes that you do in between bands, and uh, but. Yeah, you know, you just wish it for Cherby. It's uh, he's he's a he's a he's a gem. He's an icon, like in a scene. Even if he doesn't want to be, and but he has he's got this he's got this positive, um, yeah, like beaming out, you know, to people. Like he's got he's got a good vibe, and I think it's it, I think it's good that you have, especially nowadays with what's going on in metal, that we need you know this kind of attitude. You know, it's really come down to punk. I really have to say, it was never that easy to work with somebody. Yeah. But last year I did a video that kind of went totally viral, uh, like a slow motion thing uh, going on, like a, like a, all the party. And he actually wrote me uh, to me and invited me here to kind of do this documentary, which is like something that doesn't happen that often, you know, or it no, doesn't happen at all. You know, cool, good, cool dude, really. Yeah, but that's his job. You know, he just this wasn't what he wants to do. I mean, it's the same with there's a lot of bands and there's a lot of bookers and, and managements. Yeah. You know, it goes uh, in, in the world nowadays that want their bands here on the bill. But he goes, no, you know, if you don't fit in here, then go fuck off. I just want the bands that I like and I, from which my audience here at Obscene Extreme like and that's the, those are the ones who get invited and the rest can go fuck off. So in the end, you know, it comes to, uh, you know, even though, though I'm older too, but in the end it, it all comes down to passion and, and to enjoy what you do. And Cherby does that with, with organizing this festival and everything else that he does in the scene. And we do that by being playing in the band. And you do that with, you know, doing interviews and Getting drunk with fucking crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. <laughs> yeah. yeah, next year maybe. Just put it this way, like the band is next door, yeah, Napalm Death. Yeah. They were more or less like the ones who came out big back in the days with Grindcore. Yeah. That's why they're more or less the godfathers of tons of bands that are playing here. You know, in Grind we trust. Yeah. That's obscene extreme. Right. Well Napalm did that from, from the beginning. Even though they changed their style. They're not Grindcore nowadays anymore, but they're still very, very politically aware when it comes to the lyrics but back in those days and I, I, rem I do remember I was I was in those days I was like making thrash metal and making death metal myself but yeah you got a lot of you got a lot of streams in metal that were up, all of a sudden we were separating from each well, yeah, other but the yeah. whole like you say like the community was uh, yeah was just like a family we didn't care you know to play with a grindcore band or a death metal band right you know, the atmosphere was the same. Just have a party, have a blast. Just be fucking glad we're all here and we can share the stage and enjoy it. You know, that was the whole attitude behind it. That's what I like about Obscene Extreme because that still has that that feeling into it. But yeah, you know, the music for itself. Uh, you know, I've been doing this shit for like more than 30 years. They've been doing this shit for more than 30 years. And there's plenty of other bands who are doing that. Like Carcass are still around, okay. Stopped for a long time. There's a... Uh, uh, terrorize okay uh, I mean you yourself had a massive break yeah me too I think we all had that you know a new album 
because we're really keen on doing that because it's been too long you know yeah indeed. Everybody, everybody's got in everybody's got i got 30 40 fucking song ideas paul has a, a god knows how many riffs on the shelf so we really want to do that and take that on and in between we still play so it's just a, it's just a carousel that never ends as yeah. long as long as long as, long as you and it should you, never end definitely no, no. right as, as long as you just have a enthusiasm and the passion you know to go on and you go on all right so here grab the mic and this is like your message for the fans we do it irregularly what fans know. of all obscene extreme what for yours nah i'm gonna do it for obscene all extreme right. so hey chirby this is uh, especially for you and everybody here at obscene extreme uh, maybe there's a few people here that are that were there 20 years ago but i wish you all fucking a very happy 20th anniversary and perhaps in the near future um i wish you like 20 more Thank you very much, and thank you for the invitation today on this special day. We're going to make a fucking killer one. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Welcome to the Obscene Extreme 20 years anniversary. It's your first time here, right? Actually, for the first time, completely. Like, first as a band and as, as a person as well. So, fucking amazing, man. When did you arrive? Um, we arrived... Yeah, what was it? Around three o'clock. Oh, you're out uh, today. Yeah, yeah, we were here like the whole day. Yeah, basically. Are uh, you kind of missed the half of a festival? Yeah, dude. We, yeah, we did. We did, man. We wanted to see uh, Ixium, the suffocation uh, yesterday, but like the tickets was for today, so yeah, we kind of missed out on a lot of stuff, you know. But, yeah, <laughs> not much to do about it. Uh, how was your experience live? I mean, here the crowd was mental. They loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, th this crowd is fucking crazy, man. But they like they 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 live for this. They live for the insanity, you know, like. I've seen live videos from Obscene Extreme like for I know how many years now, you know, and um, and it fully lived up to all the expectations I had, even more, you know. So I was just like surprised that people are still going so strong, so fucking late in the evening, you know. Yeah. That's just amazing to see. And this is the third day, stop. by the way, for everybody. Yeah, third day, and the party just doesn't stop, you know. It's fucking amazing to see, man. It's like fucking energy. Keep that fucking work up, Obscene Extreme. <laughs> From England, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm Nottingham, yeah. Did you enjoy the festival? I, oh, yeah, really good. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Everywhere I go, the scene for grind and death metal is, is the smallest scene. Yeah. Uh, if you go to local gigs, it's just like, what is that, 100 people in Nottingham most of the time, you know? It's, there's not a lot of people there. Um, and then, even though this is, is, because it's tiny, and just everyone from all over the world just wants to, to come to this. It just makes it amazing. And everyone's just there just to, to experience all the bands and just to have a good time and party and, you know, not be dicks to each other. It's awesome. It's just been, it's everything so easy because it's all so close as well. You don't have to worry about anything, you know? Like, if you go to Hellfest, you've got to walk probably a kilometre to get from where you're camped to the to where the bands are 
Whereas here it's like two minutes and I'm, I'm there, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. And the food, food's great, love the food. Um, and then the queue this year to get in the festival, we were in that for three hours. Yeah, we drank about four, five beers just waiting in that queue. Yeah, crazy. Some people were so drunk in that queue that they fell asleep. <laughs> we just had to leave them there. Uh, my name is Cho. I just traveled from Malaysia. I came from Malaysia. And this is my first time to be in Europe and been in, in the biggest festival, Grindcore Festival. Wow, awesome. Hey, how long did you fly to get here? Mm, it is about 16 hours, three hours for transit in Dubai as well. And yeah, 16 hours. Oh my God, so you came to Europe just for the festival? Yep, I just came for the festival. Oh I went to the another festival in Erfurt in Germany, Stone from the Underground, the another fest. And after that, I following two of the three bands, grindcore bands from Malaysia. They are touring also in Europe, and we traveling we traveling together from Nuremberg. Starting from Nuremberg, I I met them in Nuremberg. From Nuremberg, yeah, we're traveling to the Obscene stream, to this place, Troop North. It's crazy, crazy trip. I need to minimize my my expenses. Yeah, so I bring my tent, I park my tent in the campsite. I enjoy the, yeah. We, we are like a big family. I feel very... First time we've been in Europe. First time, see a, a great show there. Well, it's crazy. Tell me, you're gonna be back or what? Yeah, pretty sure.